And every time they drain it, they have to move all the fish somewhere else so they don't die. Who cares about fish? This is our big assignment. I want to write about something exciting. I think fish are exciting. Of course you do, but we want to appeal to more kinds of people. Okay, well what about geese? I hear that migration patterns are kind of weird because of the long summer. Okay, what about no more animal ideas? Ah! What the fuck? That's it! Tomorrow! It, it sounded like he was... Dying. Getting murdered. Holy shit, Professor Wright, I, I had a class with him last year. Shouldn't we say something to the police? No, we need evidence. We should look around more. This could be the article we're looking for. A man dying? Yeah, it has all the intrigue. He's not wrong. Listen, Val, we don't have to solve the murder. We can just, you know, interview his relatives and make an article on that. And we already have a lead, a weapon. That could just be a random piece of wire. And he said something about tomorrow. We snoop around a bit, ask some questions. It'll be the biggest case ever. I still think that's kind of inappropriate. We're journalists. Are we? We work for a student paper. Yeah, he has a girlfriend. Her name is- Great, let's interview her. Hi, nice to meet you. We were students of Professor Wright and we wanted to have a few words with you. We'd like to interview you for the student paper, if that's all right. About your partner. Your house is lovely. Did you paint this? Oh, thank you. And no, actually, all my work's in my studio down the hall. Come, sit. Would you like tea? Coffee? We're good, thanks. I'm sorry about the state of things. It's been a pretty hectic few days. I've been so distracted. That's why I've let things get a little messy. My studio's even worse. I admit I'm not a very neat person at heart, e even if I try to be. John always had to remind me to keep things perfect. I'd leave sketchbooks on the coffee table, or magazines on the sofa, or forget to fold the blankets. And John was always such a perfectionist. That's why I'm surprised he's not back yet. Even if his hiking trip overran, he'd usually tell me, or tell someone. But so far there's been nothing. I'm sorry for going on and on. No worries. So, how long have you and John known each other? Five years, last May. We met at grad school. He was two years ahead. And when did you two move here? Three years ago. He moved to the position and now I have more time to spend on my art. Oh, I'd love to see some of that, if you don't mind, of course. Oh, really? It's just down the hall. Actually, there's some fresh paint. Uh, maybe another time? Oh, sorry, I need to get that. She seems so excited about her art, but none of it's in here. She's probably just a bad artist. I'm gonna snoop around, try and find out what tomorrow was. I'm with you. It's a bit weird. Like, none of it? It's like... Okay, you know that shitty paper crane I made you on our second date? <laughs> well... You still keep it on your desk. It messes with the whole room's aesthetic. Because you gave it to me. Because it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> but here, there's nothing like that. Nothing that's hers. Wait. painting. 
Doesn't look like anything else around here. Is it hers? Yeah, I don't see it either. Maybe she took it down? I think we should look in the studio. <coughs> now I've got to read this over again. What? I mean, sorry, me and Val. No, because just... you're coughing and literally reading. I don't like that, you know? If you're going to cough, please leave the room. Just class readings and hiking brochures. Did you two find anything? No, nothing. Of course you didn't. God, I really thought we could find something here. What? Sometimes people are just normal people. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh, no, it's no problem. We were just admiring your artwork. Thank you. Um, it's not finished yet, but I really like how it's come on so far. Well, we should get going. Don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm going to warm up the car. Thank you so much for letting us interview you, Ms. Foster. We really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. It was a pleasure. And please, call me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>